Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So many of our friends here asking me what is the YouTube I share yesterday which is in Chinese language is about. And uh, can I share another English language YouTube on the same content? So today I am sharing that. Now, what is that YouTube is about? That YouTube is to present the details of the 1850s Wing Chun's short power generations and the long power generations or short Jing generations or long Jing generations to the very details in science in physics. Now, why am I get into this? Well, because a karate friend in Hong Kong asking me the questions that is the 1850s Wing Chun's uh, short power or short jing the same with today's Wing Chun short power where you can see in the movie or what uh, Bruce Lee demo. And he asking me, Hendrik, are you serious that uh, the type of demonstrations in short power can use in a real, uh, real fight? So I made that video yesterday to share with him what is going on based on physics and based on uh, what is the reality. Now, why is he asking me that? To cut story short, is because one Hong Kong Wing Chun Sifu who using nickname at first, I don't know who he is. Is keeping give me problem. Whenever I present the Ermei Zhuang and the the the, the uh, relation with the 1850 Wing Chun, he always like to uh, to 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 comment nonsense, like a shame of you. Wing Chun got nothing to do with uh, Ermei Shi Zhuang. And he go as far as wanting the forum admin to ban me because he's calling me that I present uh, fake Wing Chun history. I made it up. And then he start to saying this. Well, Hendrik, you are not Chinese. When I heard this, Hendrik, you are not Chinese, I don't buy in anymore, sorry. That is called racism. In fact, he has no idea who I am. But I am not going to accept this type of racism or superiority complex. So, I spent a few days because I checked out who he is, which lineage he's from. Evidently, he is from the Taifa Mingam lineage. So the, the lineage of Taifa Mingam, 1875. Okay, where which is the claim of uh, the Ji Sim from Shaolin is teaching Taifa Mingam. And Tai Fang Ming Gan is teaching Feng Xiu Cheng that lineage. I found he, who he is. 
And I get into his story. Open the entire thing up. See, I like to give face. But until you get into this racism nonsense, then I like to share with you who you are, who is your ancestor in the world, so that everybody know. Now, so who is Taifa Mingam? Taifa Mingam is a pro Ching opera actor. Pro Ching, yes, pro Ching. He is on the Qing side. It is the opposite of the 1850 Wing Chun, which is the anti-Qing. So, to cut story short, Tai Fa Ming Gam have two students who is Qing's official. One of the students is Feng Xiu Cheng. Feng Xiu Cheng is historically have a boss, his boss, the boss of Feng Xiu Cheng, a Qing official, who is the one who uh, like uh, executing the anti-Qing and do not uh, keep his promise on many things. Another student of Feng Xiu Cheng, his boss is the person who issued an assassin to Dr. Sun Yat-sen, an American citizen who later became the father of the modern China who overthrown the Qing. So Feng Xiu Cheng is belong to the Qing and uh, this other student with the last name Law is also with the Qing. So Tai Fa Ming Gam have these two students. So who is Dr. Sun Yat-sen, the father of the modern China before the communists come in? who overthrown the Qing dynasty. If you go to San Francisco Chinatown or UC Berkeley, you can know that he is also an anti-Qing. Okay? So the Red Boat Opera of 1875 with the people like uh, Tai Fa Ming Gam, they are in the Qing site. They are not as in the 1850s Wing Chun, the fine jade Wing Chun, the anti-Qing Wing Chun. In fact, they are against the anti-Qing. There's the group. And we found out in the history like Feng Xiu Cheng, he belonged to the time of 1870s. That is the time where they already uh, become the, uh, how to say that, they become, uh, they surrender to the Qing. Now for me, if you want to surrender to the Qing, there is no problem because if you want to make a living, you want to surrender to the Qing at that time and the situation, hey, you know, we understand, but for the anti-Qing part, which is uh, against the anti-Qing part, his student where he teaches anti is against anti-Qing, and that is the different thing because now we know that you are not the anti-Qing, you are pro-Qing. Now the three sets. I dig it out. The three set Tai Fa Ming Gam taught, even though people like to say that that is a improvement of the 1850s Xiu Lim Tao. I proved to the entire world in Chinese that it is not. In fact, it is a different thing. The three set is a complete different thing, which is they create with the 1875 Wing Chun. 
it is no longer sticking body short strike. So I said it's time to draw the line. Whoever doing that, Tai Fa Ming Gam or Ji uh, Sim or the Feng Xiu Cheng Wing Chun or this uh, Mr. Lao's Wing Chun, come on, you are not talking the same thing as what I present. Where in the 1850s Wing Chun, you link to General Chi Ji Guang, you link to Shaolin. While the 1875 Wing Chun using like the burning of Shaolin, Chi Sim, and then uh, Mui teaching you how to hate people. Come on, those are not even the real Buddhism. No Zen Buddhism teach you that. In fact, like in the 1850s, Wing Chun, when you refer to the Shaolin, you can have document to track it down. And you can track the Chi Chi Guang, but this Pro Ching Wing Chun, or sometimes we call it Wang Chun, Eternal Spring, got nothing to do with that. So the three sets is somebody created it in the 1875, it got nothing to do with the 1850. So in details, I share in Chinese because I don't want to be wishy-washy or talk this at, at, uh, in front of one person and talk the other thing in, other, in front of other person. His story is story. Evidence is evidence, okay? So stop giving me those uh, racism stuff. Sorry, this is not Qing Dynasty anymore. This is America, 2022. Those bullshit has to stop, okay? And that's why after I present this thing, the karate friend who practiced Okinawa karate and Kyokushin too, he asked me, messaged me, asked me point blank, Hendrik, do you know, do you believe that those type of uh, short power can be used in the real open tournament? And uh, he at first, he's hesitate to say, so your 1850s Wing Chun have the same short power? I said, come on, just ask the, the, the question flat. Then he, he said, are you serious, Hendrik? Do you really believe in this kind of stuff? You're a Kyok Shin too. And that's why I make that video to clean the thing up. So here on, as what I said, the 1850s, Wing Chun and the 1875 Wing Chun, which is based on Tai Fa Ming Gam, is a two different type of Wing Chun. 1850 is the anti Qing Wing Chun. 1875 until today is the pro Qing Wing Chun. They can make their story, they can do whatever they want, but got nothing to do with the 1850 Wing Chun, and so they should mind only their business. And that's why I present the entire thing in Chinese. In, in, in writing. What right is that? It's called bullying. It's called racism. Okay? If you have anything in evidence, you present it. Like the forum member said to that person when he wants me to kick, be kicked out, to, to be stopped posting my stuff. Okay? So make it universal. Make it the entire world right now. I try to give face until get into that, okay? Now, let me share with you what is going on. So let me share with you. Instead of talking about the 1875 Wing Chun, I don't want, I have no comment, okay? But I know that based on the all evidence of history, not my opinion, history, they are not Buddhist art, they are not anti-Qing art, they are pro-Qing martial arts and they have their right to do whatever they want but mind their own business, not touching the 1850, the real anti-Qing martial art called Wing Chun and or the real Buddhist art called Wing Chun. Okay, so the beginning of uh, the, the video yesterday I shared. Shaolin, the real 
teaching of the Shaolin, Zen, everybody talk about Bodhidharma, Zen, Southern Shaolin or whatever. The key of Bodhidharma teaching is about liberations. Liberations meaning that you need to be doing properly. Okay, or uh, a term very difficult for usual people to understand is called not attached to your positions. Not attached to your position, meaning like uh, like that person he at so attached to, attached to his own like he's a sifu, the grandmaster, the spokesperson, so that he start to pointing at other people blindly without knowing what the heck he's talking about. So in the teaching of Zen is in any case, you don't want to attach to your position. If you don't attach to your position, you will not be, you are not racist. You, are, you will not be like that. You will be carry out four types of heart. Number one is kind, kindness, kind to people. The second is caring or compassion. You see somebody is uh, 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 suffering, you uh, actually care for him, caring for him, and you want to help him. The third is praise. Praise means if you are a better fighter than me, or you make more money than me, then I praise you because, because of your hard working, you get to your position and I praise you and I hope that you even can be better. There's a third type of mind. The fourth type of mind is you, you donate, you help. You see a homeless, like right now in the, time, uh, the Thanksgiving time, in the orphanage, in the elderly home, you saw people, you, you donate. Donate money or your, your time to work to help them to get, uh, become better. So the Zen teaching is like that. And if you do this four type of mind, uh, 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 this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, you do, you, you, you follow this four type of uh, mindset, then you are not attached to yourself. That is the daily practice. It's not bullshit keeping talking about non-attached, ego, blah, blah, blah. But hey, have you helped anybody? Can you be really equally threaten everybody? So the four type of mind is much more important than talking bullshit nonsense about, oh, I'm a Zen, I'm a, a, a what? Detach, detach what? People who talk that do not really follow the four type of mind I just share with you in the daily life. It's called talking Zen. Well, the, uh, if you meet a real Zen master, they are really straightforward. Talking Zen is a bullshitter. Okay? If you a real Zen practitioner, you practice that. So why is that important for martial arts? What do you think about it? If you be kind with people, if you care for people, you praise people, and you will give people who need help, the help, will you use your martial art wrongly? Of course you will not. Right? So that's how the Shaolin teaching is. That's the teaching of the Zen monk, the real Zen monk. So don't get into this nonsense about, oh, because this uh, people burn the Shaolin temple, so you want to hate them. You want to have hatred in your heart, so that when you fight, no mercy. That's called bullshit. Okay? That is called opposite of the Buddha's teaching. Get that straight. Okay? Now, so let's talk about the technical thing where everyone wants to know. The short power and the, the long power. What is it? What is it? And of course, people will say, well, Hendrik, why, don't you, why do you waste my time to talk about this Buddhism stuff? What? 
because everybody need to have a bottom line, a moral bottom line. Like the Chinese say, you need to have motak, motak, martial virtue. So what is martial virtue? You need to know, you need to mature enough to know what the heck's going on. How to deal with people, how to be honest, be, be, be good to the society, contribute positive, instead of nonsense, racism. And, 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 and uh, thinking uh, that one know it all when one in fact clueless. So, everything has to be careful. Okay, because I'm not going to give a machine gun to a, to, to, to a baby because th those are responsibility. Okay, so what is this short power or fa jing, short jing and all those things? Is that, is that so mysterious? Is that so, so uh, advanced? Is that you need to all have those chi? Why you look at all those people who have chi and all those things? Who, who promote that, have, can they show that in a real thing? Like this Hong Kong uh, a karate friend asked me, can you use it in a real tournament? I know he mean that uh, the, the Kyokushin Open. Have you ever seen one using that? Now, so what is the reality of long jing and short jing? It's very only very simple to understand. Imagine we are in a car. We're driving a car. The car with airbag. We get into an accident, a head-to-head -head collusion. Bang! Down. And then, of course, the airbag inflate. Right? And we smash ourselves to the airbag. And then people uh, probably we bounce a few times or the airbag bounced off a few times, back and forth. After a period of time, the entire thing stopped, the car stopped, you don't have much damage. Because of the airbag. Now, imagine the same car. And when I say you don't have much damage, doesn't mean that you don't have damage. You still have damage, okay? Of course, it's proportion to what is the, the collusion, the, the impact of the collusion, how, how, how great is the collusion. Now, imagine with the same car, the same situation. Now we drive a car without an airbag. What happened? The collusion the collusion happen, you slam yourself right away, your chest into the driving wheel. The entire thing slam in. Okay? Now, the when we slam into the airbag, that is long power, long jing. When we slam into that, uh, that, uh, that, that, that driving hill, that is called short jing. In the physics sense, the physics sense, When you slam into the airbag, the force, the amplitude of force due to you have the airbag is uh, not extremely, extremely high or not the, 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 the level that it can kill you. Okay, you have that amplitude of the force. Due to this airbag, so it bounce off and uh, on a few times, you have a long release time of that force. You got it? Because of this, because of this uh, airbag, so the, 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 the force get into us, the amplitude is controlled, 
and then but the, the the release of this force the time to release of this force is long now in the same case if there's no airbag we slam into the, uh, the, the the driving field right away guess what the amplitude of that force is extremely high and the release of the strength is really short and you know that if there is no air back there slam into it my internal will get injury my internal organ will get injury because of the impact well if i have the uh, air back still i will feel that the strong power and so forth but the injury will be much less than without the airbag where i can get killed instantaneously okay now so we know that with the airbag the amplitude of uh, the strength is limited to a certain degree and the time of release is long with the short uh, the uh, with the uh, with the airbag, the release of the the the, the strength, the the uh, the force have a very high amplitude pick up, picking up, but the release time is really short. So, this high uh, force amplitude and short release time is called short jing, short power. the airbag type of release of force which is the not as uh, uh, high as the uh, as the uh, non airbag but with a long time to dissipate to 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 to, uh, to to release all the strength that's called long jing now an important thing we need to notice all this force generation force multiplied by the time the force multiplied that by the time that is the impulse impulse so you have the same type of impulse if one have a really high amplitude of force and a short time that's called short jing same same uh, same amount of impulse okay and the same amount of impulse you have the lower amount of the uh, force amplitude but long time of release that's called long jing now disregard of what impulse mean the change of momentum you need to have a momentum to make that collusion for example you cannot have your car sit down in the parking lot two car parked together in the parking lot and then you're talking about this 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 is force to get into your body the impact force it doesn't make sense in any human world okay so the bottom line is that you want to talk about far jing be it long jing or short jing you need to be able to create that momentum create the momentum you have the change of the momentum which is imposed only that you can have all this long jing or short jing stuff now the question number one question is so how the hell are you going to create your momentum without momentum you're talking nonsense like you're parking your car in the parking lot and just try to talk all this jing so that's the same with people who stand in their stands or uh, doing those slow motion stuff you know uh, magic chi magic whatever energy where is your momentum okay so there are nonsense to stand there and you say that i have mind power whatever power and then i can get the momentum momentum is your body must multiply by the speed you look at 
Western boxing or Thai boxing or uh, Kyokushin, all those open fighting, all is using momentum. So now we get the bottom line. Disregard of you are whatever you are. You need to fulfill this. Otherwise, you're talking nonsense about like, I have chi. I have chi because my teacher, my grand grand teacher is the ultimate Chinese philosopher. Or my teacher is the, uh, the, 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 the Bodhidharma from Shaolin. No, you need to have momentum. So, there are two basic types of uh, momentum generations in the 1850s Xiu Lin Tao sets. From the part four, as I already shared with you so many times, you have the shoot in type of momentum generations. Right? You push, you generate, accelerate. That is the momentum. You actually generate that momentum. This is one type when you are in the distance. As you can see, two days ago, I shared that even in slow motion, how you generate that thing. That generation some momentum. Now, that type of a generation of momentum, you know that it takes longer time. Like this, you have this distance, you accelerate, you mess in, you shoot in, you have all this thing. Like you have a truck, you start, you accelerate the truck until the speed, and then you have the momentum of the truck because the truck has the weight. Another momentum generations. Remember the other day I shared with you all on the reverse breathing, the bouncing, that is a different way of generating that momentum. You want to have a reverse breathing because as I shared the other day, when you come up, your body is forward and the entire thing go forward. You want, you do not want to do the, uh, the, the normal breathing because if you do a normal breathing, when you come up your body due to your spine and your intra-abdominal pressure in the hip area and your tailbone, your body is going to go backward like this. So if I if I are punching somebody this way, well, that your body already cancelled the big part of the, the 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 momentum. So the the other day I say that you need to have the reverse breathing. When you go out, you go front, forward, and you can see my body shake, like bounce, you go snap, so the hand snap at that, uh, that, 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 the target like a whip. That is the second type of momentum generations. This is for the long range. This is for the short range, for the, the, the speaking. You all need that momentum generations. Without this number one thing which is generate the momentum, forget about it. You're just in, living in fantasy. You cannot do this and then say, well, I have all the power, the, the jing, the whatever chi. I cannot do everything slow. I cannot put my, my, my weight at the back and then say, oh, I have all this gene. Why it is violating physics? 
Okay, so this is momentum. And of course, as well, I share before, when you play with this momentum in, you need to know how to recycle your momentum. What if when you shoot your momentum out like that and the target is moved? Then you're going to trouble. Are you going to stop there? Of course, you need to change direction and that it needs the handling of recycling momentum, which is in my book, uh, Recycling Wing Chun. And all this momentum, this, uh, this, this equations, I just tell you physics, is in my books, uh, Wing Chun Matrix. Now, if you want to learn something, you don't study everything in details and make sense out of it. Know the physics. How the world are you going to, to, to do anything? Just believe on, oh yeah, my Sifu is the uh, extreme supreme grandmaster. That's why. How many people can do it in the real tournament or MMA ring? Well, obviously, those who believe on those kind of things never be able to do it because in the real life, it is all momentum. You have to generate. That's the first thing. Now, so how to generate the long, long gene, the long power? So the long power is like, for example, I'm going to strike him with this part. So I generate my momentum. I shoot in. Bang, here. So because of this big area and my body and all this process, it takes, because this big area, my, uh, my what do you call it, my uh, force amplitude, now it is uh, not as high compared with if this is a small area, like an like a elbow. And it takes longer time to dissipate. That is the long power, the long jing. So how is the short jing? Well, remember with this close body, the bouncing, the bouncing, this is like a whip already. You see, if I whip it like this, the contact time is really short. While the power, the amplitude of power while in contact is really high compared with this is like a bulldozer pushing up. And of course, if you get hit by a bulldozer, you can die too, okay? As soon as the, 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 the momentum is huge enough, the the, 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 the impulse is big enough, the, the, the force is uh, uh, big enough, okay, even it takes a long time to dissipate. Now, for the short thing is that, like the whip, you whip arm there, it's mess into it, because the area of the whip is small, and it bounces so that the time of release of the force is really short, and that is short thing. Not to mention in Wing Chun, 1850, we are using the, the short finger. So what happens is that instead of when you bounce the entire palm going like that, or entire fist going like that, over here bounce, it turns into the short finger. So it is your middle finger which is hitting that target. Your entire body's momentum right now it is in that small middle finger area, contact area, to charge into the target. And of course, it bounces back because it's like a whip. That is the short jing. Okay? And if you see this, if you see I do it slow motionly, this is the, the normal one. Okay? With the palm, now I'm adding this this uh, short finger. See, I drill in now. Instead of just like that, I 
turn in like drilling in. That is, you focus all that uh, that that that. That, uh, that, that, that strength into a small area, really high density force there, really high uh, 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 force amplitude, and in a short period of time, you struck it in and you bounce back. That is short gene. That is the thing there where even people have this uh, very well controlled iron body or whatever is going to penetrate in. That is the short gene in the real life. And that this rotating joint by joint, it is from OMA, the snake. That is what you condition your seven balls so that at that time you shoot in, the entire thing go in at really close. It's not from here to dash in or from here to storm in. Okay? It's a different type of power. Now you say that. Over here, the long gene. Is that powerful? Sure, you get get hit by a, a, a round kick or by a, a turn kick, see you get knocked out or not. That type of knockout, you knock people off, you can, can knock out by your body gone. This type, the short gene of knock is the thing is stay there like a stationary, the, the force shoot in, it's like a when we are in the car accident, there's no airbag, slam in. That's in, over. You damage the lung, internal organs, your heart, everything. Instead of you have this, uh, big, uh, this uh, big airbag. Well, with the airbag, you might die too, if the force is big enough. But there are different things. So this is called short jing, and this is long jing. All of this is trained in the 1850 Shulim Tao. That's why I already share with you guys. I chop it off partially for you guys, uh, part by part for you guys to see years ago, uh, uh, days ago. But is that easy? Of course it's not easy. Even we are so clear with everything. The first is, like I always mentioned, can your body do the job? Your seven both do the job for the long, Momentum generations or for the short momentum generation. That's why I want everybody to do the swing. The second, do you have the breathing to power your body? The third, do you have the reverse breathing to power this short jing in this close? Or else your body is going to go one way when you want to strike front. And how the hell that get, get all this short jing in? Your, 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 your force is not going to go out, outward, you're going to go backward. And you're going to balance the entire thing. Maybe you're going to tap like that because you're going backward. Instead of, okay? So how easy is that? Even we know this clear, it is still very difficult to develop this. But this is the reality. That's why if you look at even for the long gene, you look at the, the Thai boxer or the Western boxer, how many thousand punch they have to throw or how many thousand kick they have to throw, how do they condition their body in order to be able to develop that long gene, long power. Does anybody go sitting in your stance? Slowly, Tai Chi. Put your weight in the behind, punch. Be able to get there. Where are you living? Living in a fantasy or living in, in, in the real life? So this is what I, I shared yesterday. Enough is enough of this nonsense, okay, of a uh, mysterious, because I have superiority complex. I'm Chinese, I can look down on you. Nonsense, okay? Now we know all the science, this physics. Can we make it happen? Of course. That's why I keeping pulling out all this gadget. 
in the old time, Sifu teach you. Oh, you need to do this and you practice 100 times or 1,000 times. Now you know. Oh, I can measure my, my breathing, my intra-abdominal pressure, my heart rate to check whether how efficient, how effective is my generations of this. How effective is my generations of this? Didn't I share everybody already? Past few, past a week or so. So this is what it is, okay? Short jing and long jing. It is not today's whatever people like to market. And so other people who's a really real guy laugh at it. And people question it, like the, this Hong Kong friend questioned me. You are in Kyokushin. You believe those things works? So that's why I make the video. The ancient, the 1850s Wing Chun ancestor is not idiot, but it's a real pro. See, today we can use physics to uh, to to explain all this thing and uh, step by step in details. How the world is that people in 1850s, 160 years ago at the time, they don't even have the science and so forth, no physics class and so forth, no all this. How to handle this with the breathing and the, 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 the abdominal pressures and everything. And they know that if you don't use the uh, reverse uh, breathing, you cannot shoot that, uh, that, 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 that strength out. So, this is the education behind it. I am only interested in doing research and education. I'm not interested in all those. I am the number one uh, grandmaster, those kind of stuff. And I am not interested on all those racism and superiority complex stuff because I'm a Buddhist. Okay? If you're Buddhist, you walk your talk. Don't one way you say, well, I'm from this Jisim, the Mang from Shaolin, and on the other way, how do you behave? Don't you say in the one way, are we from the Jisim, from the burning of Shaolin? The next thing is you issue a assassin's order to try to uh, hit on the, uh, the, the Sun Yat-sen, Dr. Sun Yat-sen. Because you belong to the Qing and he belong to the anti-Qing. How is that Buddhist? So this is what I shared with you, like to share with you today. I like to make this thing clear, okay? And of course, you do not want to train this kind of thing. This is a, a democratic and governed by, by law world. If you use this type of stuff and you hurt other people, that is actually breaking the law. If you want to talk about the real Buddha's teaching, like writing in the in the in the Buddhism, in the Shaolin, what you give out you get back. You're hurting people, you injured people because of your big, uh, how to say that, big ego. It's going to go back to you. So this kind of thing, I call it education because do we know how to do it? Sure. But are we going to do it? No. It's like we know what is the fighting. We know what is the tiger. Yes. But are you going to fight a tiger? No. Why do you need to go fight a tiger? But you need to know what is tiger. So this is what I like to share with you today. I know it's like people, many, many people thinking I'm whining and so forth. Every word I say is never whining and never a waste words. It's just people don't know what happened. Why? Because you are not in my position. 
you do not see enough what I'm seeing. So to learn, you need to learn all these things. Otherwise, you're doing the same sets. The Chinese Kung Fu sets, you, you think that will be able to make you to go participate in the Olympic Western boxing game or judo game or karate game or wrestling game. Think seriously. <laughs>